Hello. Let's see how an average recheck goes. I know I haven't shown you this cow's original trim, but we're gonna see exactly what this bobby block is doing to her foot. So I don't actually know this cow's history, but I can see she's got a big chunk missing from the side of her foot and she's got a bovie block on. So I can tell she's had a big, serious white line defect. So let's get her in the crush and see exactly what the crack is. On you go, go on. Good girl. So I do feature this farm quite heavily in my vlogs and it's because I really like this place and there's actually not many lame cows here at all so I can remember the ones that are. She is one of the few. So we've got her in now, we're gonna get her up in the air, wash her foot off so you guys can see exactly what the deal is with this back foot. Hi Craig. Hi. See this foot looks perfect but this one has got a block on it and she's missing the side portion. It doesn't take a genius to see there's been something major wrong with this cow's back left foot the last time we trimmed her. And whenever somebody like me picks a cow's foot up like this that has had a block applied fairly recently and you can see that there's been major trauma, there's always an air of anticipation in the air. I'm desperately keen to see if what we did the last time we trimmed her has worked or not. So we keep records of every cow that we trim so that we can go back, see what was wrong with them, see when it happened and see what we did about it. So here's this cow's record. So here we go on the 31st of the 8th, which is just under a month ago, 28 days to be precise. She had white line defect happen and she had a block and limb damage. So we can tell that she was trimmed a month ago and this block was applied. And as you can see, the block is still in perfect condition and this white line is really starting to heal. So let's go ahead and see if it really has completely healed or not and what we're going to be doing with the block. Zero wear. Perfect. So when it comes to trimming a cow's foot like this, one that has already begun the healing process, it's incredibly important that we don't break through that very delicate new horn. So you'll hear me speeding up and slowing down the grinder and that's because this horn on the wall of the hoof may only be tenths of millimetres thick and if we break through it then all of that hard work we did in the very first trim will have gone to waste and this cow will be back on the road to lameness. So it looks like I'm just kind of scratching the surface with this knife and that's because I am. This knife is incredibly sharp but I am trying to be as careful as possible not to cut through all of this new sexy healthy horn. Hoof wall horn is incredibly strong stuff and despite it only being fractions of millimetres thick you can't actually see any flicks in it at all, which maybe leads you into thinking that I'm being overly cautious, but I promise you, if we break through the surface of this hoof horn, then this cow will feel pain, she could be open to infection, and she will definitely not recover as quickly as she would if we leave it fully intact. Despite my obvious caution, it's still vital to this cow's recovery that we can remove every possible part of that vertical crack if we want the new horn to be completely sound. <laughs> this makes me happy. This couldn't make me much happier actually. So Craig is just asking if this is soft and he's asking that I'm sure because if it is soft we need to leave this block on. There is a very slight flex to it and there shouldn't be any flex in this wall and as you can see this is wall horn and this is the interior part of the wall horn. So this isn't really structural whereas this is so we can't remove that just yet because this needs to descend all the way down there before she's fully, fully healed. 
We deal with cows like this on a daily basis, but we don't always film them because, to be honest, sometimes I think they're maybe not that interesting to you guys. But to me, as a hoof trimmer, this is the ideal situation. We've trimmed her once. It's clearly been something fairly severe and she completely healed in just 28 days. And this foot will definitely return to perfection. So that is this cow done and dusted. This isn't just a job for me. It's not just a nine to five at all. Being able to trim these cows feet and make such a positive difference in such a short amount of time sometimes is absolutely awesome. Being able to have such a positive impact on these cows lives and these farmers businesses is so satisfying I could never put it into words. So as soon as that cow is finished, the next one is in and we crack on with her. Guys, thanks very much for watching this very short edition of the Hoof GP. And if you haven't gone and checked out GP's Everything, my other YouTube channel where we kind of follow my daily life and right now we're renovating the new house, then click on the link in the description and go and check it out there. Cheers guys, for now, goodbye. Hey, now look into my eyes.